What's, What's up, up guys? Welcome What's back to our channel. channel. It's your boy Mike and Veronica. And we're back at it with another vlog for you guys. I'm going to stay because we're in my hometown yeah. right now, guys. We are in Krakow, Krakow, as you would pronounce it. And I'm thrilled. I was waiting for this moment for years now. I would just like to give you guys a brief, very brief, because as yeah, you will find out, long. this city is huge. Such a huge history in here that I just wouldn't be able to even describe it all. Like, My hand shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and we just got downtown, so we're about to just show you guys, you know, a little bit. Veronica's gonna be the tour guide today, so she's doing all the talking. But here's my <laughs> here's my information about the city, guys. Well, if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. We hope you enjoy. And if you're already subscribed, please hit that bell button for notifications so you can never miss a beat when we post. So let's get to it. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Town lit. I like Old Town. So this is just like the first floor, and like right behind it, there's the same amount of, I would say, space for the main square. This is Sukhumnice that divides that, and there's an actual museum underground that I would like to go as well. I have never been, you guys, and I'm from here. I lived here for 19 years of my life. I left the United States when I was 19, and I have never been to that museum. So shame on me. But thanks to my coming right now, I probably will have a chance. Experience that another so, cool thing about down here in the winter time, they have what all that food that's yeah, made. There's a market, exactly. you know, like there's a lot of markets here throughout the year, not only up in the winter. There's flower markets, and uh, I mean, they're right there. You know, Where you see, like, just little umbrellas, okay. you can always get some on a flower, you know. That's that's just the spot, you guys, here where people like meet up for the dates, you know, to get, Very to get tourist, to eat. touristic, very touristy. That's true, but I mean, it's beautiful in here and especially in the evening you know that's that's definitely like and each street right here that basically goes from the main square has it's full of restaurants full cute places coffee shops you know just places to to, to grab snacks food of course the best polish food <laughs> in the world so we're about to take out to one of the best what kind of type of restaurant is this dessert Beverages, anything you want, really. I'm gonna get, grab some coffee, guys, and meet my cousin now. I highly, highly doubt they will want to be on camera. Exactly. So, so we're not, yeah. Them, but we're gonna enjoy a little family time first, and then we'll be back. We'll catch you guys later. Krakow, Poland. You want to come to this place to get your coffee. This is the best coffee <laughs> out here. Show the menu. The menu. You guys, this is my cousin Victoria. Hi. <laughs> hey, you don't want to come here. Just get right. They got everything you need. Really. What you want? <laughs> they got it. No, it's fire. So here I got the vanilla latte, guys. He got. Got my fuel. Pivo. Got my gas. <laughs> Pivo. Victoria fast. got iced coffee, coffee. right? All right, and then look at the view, guys. Ooh. We're laughing here that I'm about to tour you guys, but I myself don't even know nothing about this city. She, she on Wikipedia looking up what, what they got going Literally. on. <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna be, you know, lying and stuff. I mean, I know the history, of course, but like, imagine like the Polish history is like its own huge years of studying like a subject. No, so. it is true. So I'm gonna take over the, the second part of it. Uh, I think about you lately. All I seem to do this to the food market. We got recommended some huh, some of them are closed, but we just got some coffee and now we are about to get it's called something what's called kumpir I think 
it's some type of street food what do they have here burgers i see here it's some type of potato fancy potato as you can see right here on the image it's basically stuffed potato with different fillings what they have is some wow greek mexican jalapeno with ham mexican Woo! that <laughs> does look fire look at that guys so many choices too that i have no idea which one would would jak jadłaś Mexican and Skurczakiem. Which one are you gonna get? Hey. Still weighing out my options. <laughs> I'm getting that for sure. That looks that's on fire. Maybe not for breakfast, but why not? <laughs> the bakery churros, something like that. Belgian fries and zapikanki, which is like a bread baguette with the different feelings. <laughs> That's a small. Whoa. Lunch time. Typical in Poland, yeah, you guys. <laughs> Potatoes in every possible. Yeah, oh yeah. And onion. <laughs> That's chicken, though. That looks fire. So, you guys, we are in the Jewish part of Krakow. Uh, as you guys can see there, it's not actually oh right here it's such a cute place honestly there's actually a tour right there italian i see because there's so many synagogues here you guys and right there we can go there's like a little tiny square love the jewish part where people meet they're like one of the best it's called zapikanki and there's always, you guys, there's so many, I don't know, it's like a circle building. And did you have them last time you were here? And this is just like a baguette, basically, with cheese, usually, you know, whatever you want on it. With like different toppings, but it's fire. It's really famous from the spot, from like this little square here. And we're so full, so we definitely need to get that, but... Just wanted to show you guys. Here's like the shade. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but basically what we have in here. And on the weekends, I think it's still going on. Like entire life I lived here. There used to be on Saturdays, people would very early morning would come and actually sell their stuff here. So it's like a flea market, which is cute, cool. And yeah. I've been here last time, probably uh, three years ago. True. The most famous spot if you ever go to get some zapikanki. This is the one. As you can see there right next to them they have more but nobody's standing in line just that one spot. He must have did something right, huh? <laughs> I mean if you're like in a new place and you never know where, where to go, just look er oh like look at that guys. That's so cool. It's like new guts, I think. They fresh. They sell some books in here. Here's some
thing on this street, guys. They have some little vintage shows well, somewhere around here. Everything there's like the hidden, you know, areas here. You just get in there, and there's some hidden spots. Just sit down and sip on something. And here, restaurant and box. His little jewelry stores. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Rise and fall, forever changing shapes, light as air, carrying weight. Life flitters in silence. Nobody knows how much there is to spend, fighting for a better end. Ooh, never too hard. Follow your heart. It's walking distance from the main square guys a Jewish part is again it's a walking distance everything nearby if you're like old town if you want to sightsee you don't really have to take a taxi or you know go to the different part of the city if you want to see the main things in Krakow let's say the main square Battle Castle it's all walking distance and that's the beauty of it now they just I uh, got the scooters, live and everything, so people I see move around more often with the scooters. <laughs> we are in Energylandia, it's near Krakow, it's one of like the top Europe, European amusement park here, near my city, I've never been, it's our first time, my brother is here, my dad, my niece and us, you guys.
Oh, my God. Come 